Hey guys, I hope you will enjoy 100% of this video because I will show you the difference between the word percent and percentage. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Single Step English. I have noticed that the percentage of subscribed viewers that watch my channel is quite small. So please remember to click the bell button below and subscribe to the channel. That way, you will receive notifications each time I release a new video. Also, if you enjoy this video, please click the like button. That would be a huge help. Thank you so much. All right, let's take a close look at the words percent and percentage. Hmm, they can be a little bit confusing. The best way to remember how to use them is that the word percent is always used with a specific number. For example, 10% of the students didn't attend class today. Another sentence example could be around 50% of the population eats bread for breakfast. Hmm, what percent of people in your country eat bread for breakfast? Please tell me about it in the comment section below. Please notice that when we use the number before percent, at the beginning of a sentence, to start the sentence, we write out that number. We don't use the digits. So 50%, five zero, we don't write that. You would write out the word 50, F-I-F-T-Y. In both of these sentence examples, 10% and 50% is a specific number. The speaker or writer knows the approximate or exact percent. Let's take a look at the word percentage. Percentage is not exact. Instead, it is used to talk about a general relationship. Let's look at these examples. Water makes up a large percentage of lettuce. The percentage of students that passed the test was high. Good job on the test. In both these sentence examples, we do not know the exact percent. Did you notice that neither sentence used a specific number? However, from reading each sentence, we know that the percentage was large or high. Now, if I know the exact percent of water that lettuce contains, I could say something like this, water makes up over 95% of lettuce. Hmm, lettuce has a lot of water. So the rule is, if you know the exact number, use the word percent. Some common word pairs that you'll probably hear or read that go together with percentage are these. A high percentage of. A low percentage of a large percentage of, and the opposite, a small percentage of. Here are a couple more grammar rules that should really help you out. When percentage is used in front of the plural form of a noun, use the plural form of a verb after it. Let's look at a sentence example. A small percentage of students do volunteer activities. In this sentence, students is the plural form of the noun, so we use the verb do, which is plural, after it. Let's look at a sentence example. A large percentage of the furniture is made in Vietnam. In this sentence, furniture is an uncountable noun. We cannot say furnitures, it is uncountable. And we follow that uncountable noun with the verb is. If we want to change an uncountable noun, 
or singular. So we want to change, let's say, furniture to cars. That's a plural noun. And we could come up with a sentence like this. A large percentage of cars are made in Mexico. In this sentence, cars is plural. So we follow that with the verb are, which is the plural form. If you know the exact number of cars that are made in Mexico, you could change the sentence and say something like this. 21% of all cars are made in Mexico. Remember, you could always write the sentence this way. Mexico makes 21% of all cars. In this case, the percent is in the middle of the sentence, so we would write the digits, two, one, and then the symbol percent. Do any of my Mexican viewers know the exact number of cars that are made in your country? Please let me know. I hope you enjoyed 100% of this lesson and a large percentage of you now subscribe to the Single Step English channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.